Hello everyone, let's talk about the journey into the world of dietary supplements. A path I started walking years ago. I vividly remember my first time stepping into a GNC store, eager to get a pre-workout supplement. Why? Because a friend convinced me it was the magic key to getting ripped. Spoiler alert, I was pretty off the mark. Fast forward to now, and I hardly ever use a pre-workout. Why? Because I've discovered there are so many better natural ways to achieve that high energy and pump without them. Looking back, the supplements I use contributed to my current physique, but honestly they were just a small part of a much bigger picture. Determining their exact impact is tricky, but I can confidently say they played a lesser role compared to my genetics, nutrition, training, and above all, consistency in these areas. Hey don't get me wrong, supplements did play a role. What I want to share with you today is the essence of my personal experiences and learning, condensed into my top 6 supplements. We'll dive into the science behind them, and why they made my list and stick around till the end. I've got a little secret surprise that you won't want to miss. Let's get started. All right, fitness fans, if you're thinking about diving into the world of supplements and want to keep it simple, let's focus on the most crucial one, protein. Getting the right amount of protein daily is vital for your body size and fitness goals. Believe it or not, this little detail could be the game changer in how long and effectively you work out at the gym. Among the various protein supplements out there, whey protein stands out. It's a major component of cow's milk making up about 20% of the total protein, with casein being the other 80%. While whey is known for its muscle building prowess, casein, with its slower digestion, can be an excellent choice for sustained muscle growth. But that's not all. The world of protein supplements is vast, including plant-based options and beef protein, particularly popular for bulking up. I'll take you through these in another video detailing why you might choose one over the other. Back to whey protein. This powerhouse is not just about building muscles, it's about convenience. Mixing it with milk instead of water, or blending it with casein, could maximize its benefits, combining whey's muscle synthesis boost with casein's anti-breakdown properties. For those hitting the gym regularly, protein intake is key. The general guideline is about 0.7 to 1.1 grams per pound of body weight, depending on whether you're bulking or cutting. But to keep it simple, aiming for about 1 gram per pound is a safe bet for most trained individuals. And don't worry about myths of protein harming your liver or kidneys. Research backed by the World Health Organization and the Institute of Medicine shows that whey is safe unless there's existing damage. Plus, it's great for bone health, especially when paired with adequate calcium and vitamin D. My general advice? Use whey protein as needed to meet your daily protein goals. Personally, I aim for 1 gram per pound of body weight, and sometimes a bit more is better than less. Supplementing with protein can really simplify meeting these daily targets, making your fitness journey a bit easier. This next supplement has probably been the second most important role in my fitness journey. L-glutamine isn't just one of my favorite supplements for its recovery benefits, it's a powerhouse with a wide array of health perks. This amino acid plays a crucial role in detoxifying the body by removing excess ammonia, a common waste product. It's essential for supporting your immune system, brain function, and even digestion. Most of us get enough glutamine through natural synthesis in our bodies and our diet, but supplementing with L-glutamine can elevate your workout recovery game. It helps reduce the need for extended rest days, letting you bounce back faster between workouts. A study in 2015 involving 16 individuals highlighted that L-glutamine not only sped up muscle recovery but also reduced muscle soreness after intense leg workouts. But here's something else, glutamine is a gut health hero. It promotes growth of intestinal cells, maintains the barrier between the inside of your intestines and the rest of your body, reduces inflammation, and protects your gut cells against stress and damage in both normal and diseased states. For optimal results, L-glutamine is best taken on an empty stomach. Ideally, first thing in the morning. And for those looking to give their gut extra love, consider a split dosage once in the morning and once in the early evening. This way you're not just supporting muscle recovery, but also giving a boost to your overall gut health. Up next is a supplement that's not an absolute must, but it can significantly turbocharge your energy levels, leading to enhanced and prolonged performance. I'm talking about caffeine. It's more than just a wake-up call for your central nervous system. Labeling caffeine as a nootropic is almost too obvious. It's the most famous and arguably the most effective brain booster out there. For those of you pushing the limits in endurance sports, caffeine does more than just energize your muscles. It sharpens your mind, 
helping you quickly process information and make split-second decisions during intense activities. Extracted from the seeds of coffee plants, caffeine is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive substance. Now, why do I recommend supplementing with caffeine? Its real magic lies in its ability to ramp up your power output and training volume while keeping fatigue at bay. A fascinating study in 2012 divided 16 rugby players into two groups. One received 4 mg of caffeine per kilogram of body weight, while the other got a placebo. The athletes were also categorized based on their sleep quality, sleep deprived and well rested. Here's the kicker. Sleep deprivation only affected the performance of the placebo group. This implies that caffeine can counteract the downsides of poor sleep. Even for those who slept well, caffeine enhanced their training loads, suggesting benefits across the board. Interestingly, the study also observed an increase in testosterone levels with caffeine use, a finding echoed in other research. So whether you're battling sleep deprivation or just looking for an extra edge in your workouts, caffeine might just be your go-to supplement. And hey, who doesn't love a good caffeine boost, especially when it's backed by science? But there's a catch with caffeine, it's prone to tolerance. This means the more you use it, the less effective it becomes, to the point where increasing the dose doesn't help. The best strategy to keep caffeine working for you is to cycle it. My advice? If you're using it daily, take a break for 3 to 7 days every 1 to 2 months. The exact duration of your break should depend on your daily intake. Larger doses may require longer periods off. Going cold turkey on caffeine can lead to withdrawal headaches which is why some people prefer to reserve it for workouts when they really need an extra boost, like on sleep-deprived days. Now let's talk about L-theanine. This compound seems to enhance caffeine's effects on alertness and focus. In rat studies, L-theanine has been shown to counteract some of caffeine's sleep-reducing effects, a kind of sandman to caffeine's wakefulness. Caffeine is generally safe, but moderation is key. Consuming a tablespoon of pure caffeine powder can be lethal. To avoid caffeinism, a condition caused by excessive intake, stick to less than 1 gram per day. The FDA suggests that 400 milligrams per day, about 4 or 5 cups of coffee, is safe for most healthy adults. Personally, I stick to around 150 milligrams on workout days, then take a break on rest days. This helps manage tolerance and is gentler on the heart. Remember, caffeine is a tool in your fitness arsenal, but like any tool, it's all about how you use it. Ready for a supplement that's all about giving you that unbeatable pump? Perfect for those days when you need an extra edge or when you're snapping some gym selfies to flaunt your progress? Let me introduce you to Citrulline Malate, a game changer in the world of fitness supplements. Citrulline Malate works wonders by ramping up nitric oxide production in your body. What does this mean for you? Increased blood flow to your muscles during workouts? This enhanced circulation isn't just about looking more vascular, it's about getting more nutrients to your muscles and flushing out the fatigue causing byproducts like lactate and ammonia. But Citrulli Malate isn't just a one-trick pony. It's gaining recognition as a powerful aid for both resistance training and high-intensity exercises. It doesn't stop at improving performance. It also plays a crucial role in muscle recovery. The key to Citrulline Malate's magic lies in its ability to dilate your blood vessels. This process is achieved by boosting nitric oxide levels in the blood, signaling the smooth muscles in your arteries and veins to relax. When you supplement with L-Citrulline, it converts into arginine in your kidneys and then releases an extra dioxide molecule, repeating the cycle and enhancing this effect. Interestingly, citrulline is more effectively absorbed in the gut than arginine, and taking citrulline actually leads to higher arginine levels in your body than taking arginine itself. And without the unpleasant side effect of diarrhea, citrulline mallet is more than just your typical pump supplement. Contrary to what many believe, its benefits extend far beyond just enhancing muscle vascularity. Picture this. A 2010 study where participants were pushing through an intense bench press workout. Those who supplemented with citrulline malate managed to squeeze out more reps per set, especially after the second set. The more sets they did, the more noticeable the effect became. This is a game changer for those high volume training sessions helping you power through those extra few reps. But that's not all. The same study revealed a significant decrease in muscle soreness 24 to 48 hours after exercise. How does citrulline malate achieve this? By buffering acid and metabolites like lactate and ammonia, which are often responsible for post-workout aches. Now let's talk about the pump. Sure, it makes your gym session more enjoyable and helps you look more muscular, but citrulline's role as an organic nitrate could have even more promising effects. 
We're still eager for more research to fully understand its potential. So what's my recommendation? Aim for four to 10 grams of citrulline malate about an hour before your workout. And if you're curious about trying nitrates, starting with 500 to 1000 milligrams an hour before training is a solid approach. Remember, with citrulline mallet, it's not just about looking good, it's about enhancing your performance and recovery in a way that really counts. One supplement I swear by and take daily is creatine. And let me tell you why. The type I prefer is instantized creatine monohydrate. It's a game changer because it's fully soluble in water. This means no more bloating, no unnecessary water retention, and goodbye to that gritty, chalky taste that comes with other forms of micronized creatine. Creatine is more than just a supplement, it's a molecule that your body naturally produces. You can find it in foods like meat and fish, but the catch is, a typical diet provides only about one gram per day. To really tap into the benefits of creatine, supplementation is the way to go. The science behind creatine is solid. There are literally hundreds of studies backing its effectiveness and safety. It's a proven enhancer of strength and power for athletes. Think about it. Creatine boosts ATP, adenosine triphosphate production, which is crucial for energy storage and transfer in high demand situations. And here's a myth buster. While creatine does draw water into your muscles, it doesn't cause bloating elsewhere. This actually gives your muscles a fuller, tighter appearance, not a bloated look. It's not directly a muscle mass increaser, but its ability to improve gym performance can lead to lifting heavier weights. This means more muscle tension and a bigger growth stimulus. That's why long-term creatine use is often linked to increased muscle mass. Let's bust a myth about creatine. There's absolutely no need to load it or cycle off it. Unlike caffeine, your body doesn't develop a tolerance to creatine. A study from 2003 even demonstrated that 21 months of continuous creatine supplementation caused no adverse health effects. Now that's endurance. But here's an interesting point. Some people are labeled as creatine non-responders. Estimates suggest that up to 30% of people might fall into this category, meaning they don't experience the typical benefits of creatine. Often, these are individuals who already consume a lot of creatine through their diet, especially heavy meat eaters, and sometimes older athletes. However, considering the extensive research demonstrating creatine's effectiveness and its affordability, I believe it's worth a shot for everyone. A good sign that creatine is working for you? If you notice a slight weight gain after a few weeks of supplementation, assuming your diet and training remain consistent. My general advice is to stick to about three to five grams per day taken post-training or at your most convenient time. If you're really pushing the limits with heavy lifting and aiming for rapid muscle growth, you could experiment with higher doses up to 20 to 30 grams per day. Remember, with creatine, it's all about finding what works best for your body and fitness goals. So give it a try, monitor your progress, and you might just be pleasantly surprised by the gains. Did you know that your body needs certain vitamins and minerals in tiny amounts? These are what we call micronutrients. While most nutrition experts agree that a diverse diet is the key to getting these essential nutrients, it's not always as straightforward as it seems. Take a look at your plate. Fruits, veggies, meats, dairy. They all contribute to your micronutrient intake. For instance, oysters are a powerhouse of trace minerals, spinach and nuts like cashews are nutrient dense, and then there are legumes, organ meats, eggs, and avocados. The list is pretty extensive. If you find it challenging to consistently include a wide range of healthy foods in your diet, there's another ace up your sleeve. Green powder supplements. These are a fantastic way to fill any gaps in your diet, ensuring you get those crucial micronutrients. However, Research shows that getting all your micronutrient needs from food alone can be challenging, especially for athletes or those in a caloric deficit. In one eye-opening study, nationally ranked pre-contest bodybuilders, particularly women, consumed none of the recommended daily allowance, RDA, for vitamin D, and were way below the RDA for other nutrients like calcium, zinc, and copper. This is particularly concerning as nutrient deficiencies can lead to serious health issues like osteoporosis, especially in women who often cut out dairy to lose fat, a misconception that can do more harm than good. Another study focusing on endurance athletes found that none of the subjects met their micronutrient requirements through food alone. This highlights a crucial point. While it's ideal to maximize whole food options, sometimes food just doesn't cut it, especially for those pushing their bodies to the limit. So my advice, consider taking an athlete formulated multivitamin daily particularly if you're on a calorie-restricted diet. It's a simple, effective way to ensure you're covering all your bases. 
keeping your body in top form and ready to tackle whatever challenges come your way. All right, fitness fam, let me let you in on a little secret, a special supplement that often flies under the radar, ashwagandha. This isn't just any ordinary supplement, it's a superfood mushroom nootropic that I find incredibly beneficial. Ashwagandha is a powerhouse when it comes to reducing stress and anxiety, uplifting your mood, and even slashing down that pesky stress hormone cortisol. But wait, there's more. For those of us pushing the limits in our workouts, ashwagandha can be a game changer. It may significantly enhance physical performance, from boosting your strength to optimizing oxygen usage during exercise. Various studies have shown that ashwagandha can dramatically improve maximum oxygen consumption in both healthy adults and athletes. That's a big deal for endurance and overall performance. I've made it a ritual to take ashwagandha along with my multivitamin first thing in the morning. It sets a positive tone for my day, gearing me up with the right mindset and energy. Thanks a ton for tuning in. I'm stoked to share more insights and secrets with you in our next video. Until then, keep striving for your best. And remember, flex and glow.